So recently, Temtem actually announced its 1.0 update for September the 6th, I think. And when I was watching the trailer, it reminded me of this conversation that I had a while ago with a friend of mine that loves to use the term Pokemon killer, or he always talks about these Pokemon clones or these Pokemon-like games saying, oh yeah, this game is so much better than Pokemon. And I was watching my friend Omega Pro stream the other day, and he was talking about how none of these Pokemon clones capture what Pokemon is about, if that makes any sense. Let's use Temtem for an example. Temtem is a literal Pokemon-like MMORPG that is finally getting its re full release in September. I'm pretty sure the numbers dropped by 56% since the game actually launched for everybody to play and now we're gonna get a humongous surge of people playing the game myself included and it's very funny because everything that we saw five or six years ago is finally gonna be inside the game and while temtem is an amazing beautiful game with a lot of features that we all wanted as fans pokemon just has that legacy to it you know like for me personally i think temtem as a monster taming game is just better i think nexomon extinction as a monster catching game is just better i think koromon in more recent years has been just a better game than what we've been looking at from pokemon the last couple of years actually i can't tell you how many people have come back and say yo since legends arceus a completely different take on pokemon entirely all of them saying things like oh yeah i have I haven't played Pokemon since Auris, Sun and Moon. I tried Sword and Shield, didn't like it. And it's like, damn, how many disgruntled Pokemon fans are there? And so you ask them, yo, why don't you play other Pokemon-like games? Like I said, Nexomon Extinction is an amazing Pokemon-like game. Temtem is finally gonna get announced, or finally gonna get released this year. Who knows what's gonna happen? Digimon Cyber Sleuth 1 and 2 are just better games than anything Pokemon since Black and White, fact. And their answers always seem to be riddled in nostalgia. And only in the Pokemon community do I feel that this has ever been a problem? Because there are a lot of third person shooters out there that people are playing right now. Since Call of Duty and Halo, there have been nothing but shooters that people are still playing to this day. Traditional RPGs are abundant right now and all they do is copy the same formula, the same character tropes, the same, well not the same music, some are vastly different actually, I apologize. But only in Pokemon's community, which was originally the Shimigami Tensei whole genre itself, do you see people yearning for more from Pokemon but denying every other attempt by every other company for the sake of nostalgia. Pokemon has had a long lasting impression on all of us. It's been around for what, 25 years now at this point. And these games that have been coming out recently, obviously don't have the same legacy. They don't have the same dex number compared to the thousands of Pokemon. Well, Digimon and Shimigami Tensei do, but that's about it, right? And Digimon just recently got good games. So what are we doing here? You know what I'm saying? But I look at some of the Temtem designs and some of them are ugly as hell. I'm not gonna lie to you. Some of those Temtem designs are ugly as hell, but there are some really good ones that could possibly be Pokemon. Nexomon Extinction has a lot of Pokemon inspired decks, but not too inspired to where it's like a blatant ripoff of a Pokemon design. Coromon looks amazing. One of my favorite Coromons is the little cat ghost. I love it so much, bro. And like I said, Digimon Cyber Sleuth, oh my God, do we have to talk about that story? Everything you want from Pokemon is in other games. And I always found it weird that these communities or the people that play Pokemon don't want to give anything a chance. My friend Omega Pro was like, yeah, some of these Pokemon games just aren't hitting what Pokemon does. Meanwhile, he's playing Cyber Sleuth just a better Pokemon game in the last couple of years, if not a decade. You get what I'm saying? And he was holding off on that game for years because he originally is not a Digimon fan. He just gave it a try because people were gassing it up. I'm one of I people. I love Digimon Cyber Suit because of what the game offers, what the game does for story development. Everything I ever wanted in Pokemon, I want to go find in other places, which is why you see me play like ROM hacks, fan games, the Pokemon knockoffs, the, the Nexomon extinctions, the Coromons, the Temtems, all that stuff. But like I said, only in Pokemon is it okay 
okay to essentially complain and yearn and harass the developers and go crazy and with all these wants and needs that you need to do when you're gonna buy the game anyway, which is all the company cares about. Which is why Pokemon Legends Arceus is such a pivotal moment for Pokemon as a franchise and why Scarlet and Violet will have to be some of the best Pokemon games since Lord knows when before Legends Arceus at this point. And at least the question I kinda wanna ask you guys, if Scarlet and Violet take hella steps back compared to what made Legends RC is so addicting and so good to you, how would you feel as a Pokemon fan? But then I also wanna ask the question, why haven't you branched out to more monster taming game? Nexomon Extinction, Coromon, Temtem in September, Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory, and a plethora of other monster taming, monster catching games that you honestly might may or may not like, who knows? But the attempt of trying matters so much instead of complaining. I just saw that Pal World trailer, and wow, when I tell you, the game looks amazing, bro. It just does. The game looks great. That's all I wanted to rant to y'all about. I just wanted to ask a question. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys like, what you guys don't like. Answer the questions in the video. Make sure y'all leave a like and a comment. Subscribe, I'll ask you good stuff. We're almost at 200,000 subscribers, so I'm trying to hit that. Leave a like and a comment. Comment, subscribe, you know, good vibes over here. And that's gonna be it for me. Bye.